Okay. Here is a Pierce Audio Head Demagnetizer. As you can see, got off the Amazon here. Thanks. This video is going to be about demagnetizing your tape heads. Um, we're here, I have a Panasonic RQ2104 cassette recorder. And uh, I got this as a birthday present. And yeah, I got used. And it's been a while since I demagnetized the tape heads. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. So let's take a look at the, the demagnetizer itself. The back just says instructions in multiple languages. Let's take it out of the packaging. Alright. Right, here's the unit itself. So it's just simply so just plug it into the wall, turn it on. Here's the part that you put against your tape heads. It says to plug it into the power source, place the magnetic tip against the recording head. To move the tip over the entire pull surface of the 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 the, the head, just as the head, but yeah, and for about one second, then move the magnetizer slowly away from the heat, or slowly away from the head, and demagnetize it. Be careful not to overheat the demagnetizer. Do not leave connected. You know, yeah. So, do not move it too fast. Be nice and slow. And keep any pre-recorded magnetic media at least one meter away from it while it's plugged in. So, here it is. So before you start using your demagnetizer, you have to prep your deck or set player recorder unit for demagnetizing. So now with a, me a, a mechanical unit like this, just open it up and press play. So that's all you gotta do. But on logic decks, you, you can't do that because usually you can't do that when it's not in play. So in order to do that, some cassette decks that have, a, that have an electric system, you simply press a combination of buttons or hold down the play button and you will automatically know that you're going to try and demagnetize it and will bring out the play heads. Even when it knows there's no cassette in there. But, you know, mechanically like this, press it, you're good. And I'll press pause. Here. So now, you want to take your deep magnetizer, be at least a meter away from any pre recorded magnetic mediums, and play it into the wall. So, I'm just playing it into the wall right now. Alright, then once you plug it into the wall, you're going to have to work slowly so you don't do anything wrong. Okay, it's plugged in. Now move slowly. Nice and steady. Slow and steady wins the race when it comes to demagnetizing tape heads. Right? So you take your cassette recorder. Just slowly come to it. Alright. You take your tape head. Just take a demagnetizer. Just slowly. Then press it against the tape head for a good second. Alright, once you've done that, you do demagnetize any other parts of the mechanism. For example, the caps in here. Alright. Slowly take it back out. You just make sure it's a good meter or so away from anything else. Then you unplug your deep magnetizer. Alright, it's unplugged here. See? Alright. And when done, you just hit the stop. And there we go. That's how you demagnetize your tape heads. And there's a demonstration of a demagnifier. It's very simple. It's not that hard. Yeah. And make sure you periodically do this every 15 to 20 hours of playback on your audio equipment to make sure you retain the best audio quality possible with your audio equipment. Because over time, your heads will magnetize and they might even start to degrade the quality of your tapes if you do not demagnetize the heads. 
So make sure you demonetize those heads to keep the audio quality good and to keep your tapes good. Subscribe if you want.